good morning my dear students how are you all i hope you all are doing great and are absolutely fine so students today i welcome you all in this english class where we are going to learn something new and something very interesting okay so let's begin okay so here's the story all right so the battle of sarai ghat is known to people as a milestone is assam history what the battle of sarai ghat is known to people as a milestone in assam history the mughals were defeated by the troops led by bir lachit bor fukon what the mughals were defeated by the troops led by bir lalit lalit bor fukon in the memory of this legendary event there is a statue on the bank of the river brahmaputra in guwahati there we can see bir lalit bor fukon commanding his army like this all right this statue remind us of the phenomena that changed the course of history all right that this statue reminds us of the phenomena that changed the course of history statue that we talk about is when we start the class na the first statue is that uh, that statue we are talking about in this story all right so this statue reminds us of the phenomena that changed the course of history all right the battle okay. of sarai ghat is known to people as a milestone in assam history the mughals were defeated by the troops led by bir lasit borfu so this is the whole in story the of we have talk about event, some words in this story all right basically we are Rahabhata talking about those words all right there we can see okay. bir lasit borfu kon commanding his army the statue reminds us of the phenomenon that changed the course of history now the battle of Sarai Ghat is known to people as a milestone in Assam history. The Mughals were defeated by the troops led by Bir Lalit Bor Fukon. In the memory of this legendary event, there is a statue on the bank of the river Brahmaputra in Guwahati. There we can see Bir Lalit Bor Fukon commanding his army. This statue reminds us of the phenomena that changed the course of history now in this whole story some sentences are highlighted you can see here all right let's talk about this now okay the battle of sarai ghat is known to people as a milestone is anam in assam history people know the battle of sarai ghat as a milestone in assam history so before going forward this is the first question for you all all right change voice of the following sentence i know his father options are a his father is known by me b his father knows me c his father known to me and d his father knew me you have to choose one among these four and what you have to do you have to change the voice of this sentence your time starts now all right students time is up so here the uh, sentence the voice that we are changing into the i know his father the correct voice of this sentence is option c his father known to me all right so option c here is the correct answer all right okay let's move forward now the mughals were defeated by the troops led by bir lalit bor fukon all right the mughals were defeated by the troops led by bir lalit bor fukon the mughals were defeated by the troops now see 
the voice of the sentences are change only all right see here the mughals were defeated by the troops led by bir lachit fukon bor fukon and the same sentences the mughals were defeated by the troops all right the voice of the sentences are change here only all right the troops led by jit fukon see here only the change the sentences are the voices of sentences are change all right the mughals were defeated by the troops led by b lachit fukon the mughals were defeated by the troops or the troops defeated the mughals same sentences the meaning of bo, bo, uh, all three are, the meaning of the all three sentences are same but the voices are different all right the mughals were defeated by the troops led by bir lachit borfukon the troops led by bir lachit fukon and bir lachit borfukon led the troops led the troops all right now again the sentences are same the voices of the sentences are different here but the meaning of the sentences are same all right now let's talk about voices active voice and passive voice now what we are going to study today in this class is all about voices what is active voice and what is passive voice all right change of voice is used in many such context all right as we already uh, learned about or as we discuss about the changes of voices are there mughals were defeated by bor uh, lachit fukon fukon or bor lachit fukon led the troops and whatever it is the voices of the sentence are just change but one thing is remaining that is remaining the same that is this voice that is the meaning of that sentence all right so when we talk about voices i think we already discussed it uh, earlier that when we talk about voices then one thing you should keep in your mind then when we talk about voices one thing is there that the voices of the sentences are maybe change but the meaning is always the same all right whether it is an active voice or what is whether it is in passive voice the meaning of both the sentences are same only the voices are different all right all right use of voice in interrogative sentence now let's talk about use of voice in interrogative sentences <clears throat> who discovered america all right subject is who verb is discovered all right subject is who discovered is verb and america is an object so in voice or in sentence there is something which is very important when we write a sentence something are very important first one is object object is so important then the subject is important and the verb is important so when we write a sentence there should be all these three things then we uh, then we call a sentence is complete when there is a subject when there is a verb and when there is a object all right so when we write a sentence like who discovered america in this in this whole sentence the subject is who verb is discovered and object is america all right then we call it as sentence is a complete sentence all right by whom was america discovered by whom america was discovered now again the voices is different but the meaning of the sentence is same you can see here all right who discovered america all right and by whom was america discovered the meaning of both the sentences are same but the voices are different okay so that is i'm uh, telling you then when you talk about voices and when you learned about voices one thing you should keep in your mind that in voices when we talk about voice or voice sentences the voice this means the meaning of the sentence is the same only the voice are different maybe in it in a, uh, is it in a active voice or maybe it in a passive voice all right but the meaning is same again the question for you all find the subject in the following sentence now what you have to do is you have to find the sentence in the following you have to find uh, you have to find the subject in this following sentence the sentence is who did this thing all right this is the sentence now what you have to do is you have to find the subject in this sentence all right your options are a did b this c who and d thing your time starts now you have to choose one among these four
ओके स्टूडेंट्स टाइम अप सो द करेक्ट सब्जेक्ट ऑफ दिस सेंटेंस दैट इज हु डिड दिस थिंग इज ऑप्शन सी इन दिस सेंटेंस हु इज अ सब्जेक्ट और राइट इन दिस सेंटेंस हु इज अ सब्जेक्ट सो ऑप्शन सी इज द करेक्ट आंसर हियर और राइट लेट्स मूव फॉरवर्ड Who teaches you English? All right. Now again, the sentence is "Who teaches you English?" Now, by whom is English taught to you, or by whom are you taught English? Okay. Now, the again the same voices are different, but the meaning is same. All right. what are you doing all right now two friends are there they are talking to each other now one friend is asking to another friend that what are you doing what is being done by you okay now see again the voices is difference of the sentence but the meaning is same all right what are you doing this why are you doing this see here the sentence is why are you doing this a father is scolding his son and say that why are you doing this all right why is it being done by you now see again the sentences are different the voices is different of the sentences but the meaning of the both the sentences is same all right the meaning of both the sentences are same but the voices of both the sentences different all right Okay now here as you all can see a boy reading a book all right are you reading a book all right are you reading a book this is the first sentence and is a book being read by you is a book being read by you so now again see here the meaning of both the sentences are same but the voices are different voices mean basically how we write a sentence all right how we write our sentences all right in passive voice there is something that is more important in uh, in some voices there are object which is more important than the subject and in some sentence there are the subject which is more important than the object all right so this is the different or difference between the active voice and passive voice or basically the voices all right in some sentences there are subject which is more important than the object and in some su some subject uh, in some sentences there are object which is more important than the subject so this is how we write a sentence when we talk about voices all right maybe it in a active voice or maybe in a passive voice all right okay so again one more example for you all will you buy a bike will you buy a bike will a bike be bought by you now see here again the sentences the meaning of the sentences is same but the how we write them is different and how we write them is depend on the voice we are used all right maybe we use active voice or maybe we use passive voice clear so that depend on that uh, while we are writing the sentences all right okay now again a question for you all change voice of the following sentence now what you have to do is you have to change the voice of following sentences all right the sentence is why are you reading this book what you have to do you have to change the voice of this sentence the options are a why is this book read by you b why is this book being read by you c why are you read this book and d why is this book read you all right your time starts now okay students time up let's see the answer now okay so change voice of the following sentence all right what we have to do we have to change the voice of this sentence the sentence is why are you reading this book all right 
so the correct voice of this sentence is option b option b why is this book being read by you all right so option b here is the correct answer all right okay again a sentence all right does he know sujata does he know sujata is sujata known to you now see here again the sentences are different the voice of the sentences is different but the meaning of the sentences is same all right while converting an interrogative sentence from active to passive passive all right now here a small exercise that, uh, that is while converting an interrogative sentence from active to passive all right now we have to change interrogative sentences into active to passive voice all right the sentence will start with the relevant wh word wh word means the start the wh word means what the word which are like what who how when all right these kind of words are where you can add where all right that word basically which is start from wh all right all right so the wh words are that all right the sentences will start with the relevant wh word slash b verb and have verb all right second is the b verb will sit immediately after the wh word all right after the wh word all right the object sits after the b verb and have verb after the verb the subject the object is there all right so it, so basically we start from the beginning now the sentence will start with the relevant wh word all right the subject the sentence will start from the wh word all right then after the subject after the word wh word there is a uh, there is a verb there is a verb see here the v verb will sit immediately after the wh word then the object sits after the then after word there is a object all right the object sits after the after the b verb and have verb all right and after the object the verb will sit in its v3 form yeah verb 3 form all right or verb 3 form clear use of by slash to according to the context all right we have to use by to according to the context all right the relevant subject will sit at last all right then the subject will sit at the last all right so why we are writing the sentence all right and when we change into interrogative sentence active to passive we have to keep in in mind some points that is when we write a sentence first thing is start with wh word then the verb is there then the object is there all right after object the uh, the subject is there subject is at last all right this is how we done or how we complete a sentence clear all right first is start the sentence will start with the wh word just after that verb just after that object object after that and after object there is a subject at last all right and use of by to according to the you have to choose or you have to use by to according to the context whatever the context is given according to that you have to change is you have to use by or to be whatever it is all right so you have to choose according to the context all right and the verb will sit in, the, in its verb 3 format all right so these are some points you should keep in your mind while you are writing the sentence or while you are reading the voices all right and when you change the voice into interrogative voice into active to passive these are some points you have to keep in your mind all right okay now interrogative sentence is done now use a voice in imperative sentences all right now what we have to do we have to use voices in imperative sentences open the window okay open the window subject is silent that is you okay verb is open and object is the window all right in this sentence verb is open all right object is the window 
all right and the subject is silent that is you all right let the let the window be open let the window be open see here again the sentence is same we have we are talking about now imperative sentences all right we are talking about the voices we use in imperative sentences all right so open the window is uh, first sentence we have to change the voice of this sentence in like this let the window be opened or you are uh, ordered to open the window now all three sentences have the same meaning but the voices of all three sentences are different all right <coughs> please bring my glasses please bring my glasses let my glasses be brought now see or you are requested to bring my glasses again the sentences of all three are same but the voices of these three things uh, these three sentences are different all right but the meaning is same again a question for you all students the verb of a sentence in passive voice the verb of a sentence in a passive voice sits in its all right a v3 form b v2 form c v1 form or d v4 form all right sits in its what it is which form of verb it is all right your time starts now all right students time is up so the verb of a sentence in passive voice sits in its the correct form of verb is here is option a v3 form all right so in it is uh, sin sits in its is a v3 form or verb 3 form all right let's move forward again some sentences are there again the example of some sentences talk to his father talk to his father let his father be talked to all right again the again the same thing is there sentences are different the voices of the sentences are different but the meaning of both the sentences are same all right or you are asked to talk to his father all right you are asked to talk to his father do it all right do it let it be done let it be done or you are ordered to do it all right now again you can see the sentences are different the voices of the sentences are different but the meaning is same of all the sentences all right while converting an imperative sentences from active to passive while converting an imperative sentence from active to passive we either start the passive voice with let or you are all right so you have to keep in your mind some points while you are converting imperative sentence from active to passive while you are change interrogative sentence from active to passive which points are there the sentence starts with wh word after that verb is there verb after verb the subject object is there and at last there is a subject and the verb ended with v3 form and sits with v3 form there are these points are there while we are changing interrogative sentence from converting interrogative sentence from active to passive these the four five points are there what first is the sentence start with wh word after that verb is there after that object is there and at last there is a subject and the fifth point is the verb in the sentence ended with v3 form clear these are the five points that you should in your mind you should keep in your mind while you are converting interrogative sentence into active to passive now the second thing is while converting the imperative sentences from active to passive what you what you need to do is you need to start with the passive voice the start the sentence start with let or you are let or you are the sentence start with 
let or you are all right the object sits immediately after let the object sits immediately after let all right so which uh, from the uh, uh, after the sentence is begin after that object is there after that object is there the b verb sits in its raw form that is b all right the verb is sit with raw form the verb will be sit with the raw form that is the b the verb will sit in its v3 format the verb will sit in its v3 format all right when we change the voice with you are we catch the appropriate tone of the sentences and use requested order asked and etc clear all right so these are the points you should keep in your mind while you are converting imperative sentence into active to passive the points are first we either start the passive voice with let or you are all right we is we have to start the passive voice or the passive sentence with let and you are all right start with let and you are the sentence will be start with let and you are just after that when we use let or you are we begin the sentence just after that put the subject put the object of the sentence all right after that when we put object just after that there is a verb there is a verb verb is it in v3 format or we sits verb with the raw form clear and at last we change the voice with you are we catch the appropriate tone of the sentence and use requested asked and ordered etc when we catch the meaning of the sentence all right clear now all right after that we put the exact sentence as in active voice after that we put the exact sentence is in active voice clear okay now here activity for you all find out the subject in the following sentences now some sentences are coming there now what we have to do is we have to find the object sorry we have to find the subject of these sentences let's start why did you do this second who knows your father third what are you doing fourth who ate the mangoes and fifth do you know him now tell me which is the subject in these five sentences in this sentence which one is the subject in this sentence which one is the subject in this in this in this tell me which one is the subject in these sentences i give you 5 seconds to answer this question okay let's understand see here. in these sentences why did you do this you is a subject you is a subject knows who knows your father who is a subject what are you doing what is a subject who ate the mangoes who is a subject do you know him you is a subject all right clear all right again a question for you all change voice of the following sentence all right you are requested to close the window options are please close the window b close the window c why did you not close the window and d close the window right now what would you answer your time starts now you are requested to close the window all right requested is there now we have to change the imperative sentences this is the imperative sentences all right we have to change the voice of this sentence <clears throat> okay students time up so you are requested to close the window okay what we have to do we have to change the voice of this sentence so the correct voice of this sentence is option a please close the window okay so option a here is the right answer all right okay find out the sentences where you will use ordered while changing to passive voice all right the question is find out the we have to find the sentences where we will use ordered while changing to passive voice all right while changes to passive voice 
गिव मी अ पेन राइट नाउ प्लीज टॉक टू मी नाइसली आस्क हिम एनीथिंग यू विश प्लीज गिव मी सम एडवाइस एंड फिफ्थ वन इज डू इट एट वंस और राइट नाउ वट वी हैव टू वी नीड टू डू इज दैट वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द सेंटेंस वेयर यू विल यूज ऑर्डर्ड वेल चेंजिंग टू पैसि वॉइस वेन वी चेंज इट इट इन टू टू पैसि वॉइस इन विच सेंटेंस वी यूज ऑर्डर्ड लेट्स फाइंड आउट और राइट गिव मी अ पेन राइट नाउ इन दिस सेंटेंस वाइल वी आर चेंजिंग दिस सेंटेंस वी यूज ऑर्डर्ड इन दिस सेंटेंस एंड एट लास्ट डू इट एट वंस वाइल वी आर चेंजिंग वेन वी चेंजिंग द वर्ड इन टू पैसि वॉइस we need to use ordered while we are changing this sentence all right so in first sentence give me a pen right now or do it at once in both the sentences we ordered we use ordered while we are changing this sentence into passive voice clear all right <clears throat> again a question for you all so the question is sangeeta's friend leena had a cat which she lost in a car accident all right one day in class leena was crying in a corner sangeeta noticed that and understood the reason all right their classmate rana came to leena and start meeting for, making fun or for saying that are you crying for a cat that's not a human that you lost you are you are so silly on the other hand sangeeta sat beside leena and said i never had a cat but i can feel how difficult it must be for you don't lose hope wherever your cat is she is doing fine leena hugged sangeeta and felt better after some time what quality is sangeeta showing here option a ahimsa b sacrifice c empathy and d swachhta all right what would be your answer your time starts now sangeeta did what sangeeta sat be beside leena and said i never had a cat but i can feel how difficult it must be for you all right don't lose hope wherever your cat is she is doing fine leena hugged sangeeta and felt better after some time what quality is sangeeta showing here <coughs> All right, students. Time is up. So here, Sangeeta showed empathy. All right, empathy towards his, towards her friend. All right. So uh, Sangeeta sat be beside Lena and said, "I never had a cat, but I can feel how difficult it must be for you. Don't lose hope. Wherever your cat is, she is doing fine." In this sentence, S Sangeeta showed what Sangeeta showed Lena. what empathy all right she doesn't make a fun of her but she uh, comfort her all right okay now this is the last question for you all <clears throat> so this is the last question how you like this session a happy quite good satisfactory or confused your time starts now all right students time is up so thank you very much i hope you like this class i hope you know now what are voices how we change voices into imperative sentences or interrogative sentences we talk about to in today's session we are talking about voices what are voices all right so in voices the subject the object and the um, verb is important while we are writing the sentence there are some points which are very important to complete a sentence that is verb all right object and the subject is there then we called a sentence is complete we called the voice into we uh, differentiate voice into two type that is active voice and passive voice and according to sentence needed we change active into passive and passive into active but one thing is there you should keep in your mind while you are writing or while you are changing the subject while you are changing the voices of the sentence that is maybe active to passive or passive to active one thing is there that the meaning of the sentence both the sentences are same only the voice of the sentence is different or the way we are writing the sentence is different all right but the meaning of both the sentences should be equal so that is all for today's class i hope you like this class so we'll meet in the next class till then bye bye take care and have a good day